Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how you can control standard libraries within the Top Solid 7 platform. In this case specifically, we're going to take a look at how to control different types of screws that you might want to insert into an assembly. Let me give you an idea. If I was to go and look at what available ANSI cap screws I have, I can run my standard search here, and here I have all of the standard ANSI screws, or ISO screws, or however you have your filter set up. If I drag that into my assembly, and you can see I have my screw on top here, if I look, I have every size of standard screw available, and maybe I don't work with all of these screw sizes. Maybe I only work with a handful of screw sizes on a regular basis, so I want to simplify my selection process. So that's where this story begins. To begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating our own library. And I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to call this new library. I'm going to call this demo screws. You might call it my screws or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and open that demo screw library. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead back to my original project here, and I'm going to go find my top solid ANSI mechanical library, and I'll double click on it. If you don't have it in a project already, you could go into the libraries here and open it there as well. From here, I'm going to go ahead and find the screws that I want to work with. For example, I'm going to browse down to screws. I'll go in the UNC library here because that's what I typically use. Maybe we'll make that a little bit bigger. And let's go find, not our low boys, let's go find the regular UNC screw here. And what I'm going to do is double click to open that library. Now, this is a Missler provided library, so you cannot modify this library. However, you can associate to it. For example, I'm going to go here to derived family. Here it's going to ask you a question, you can just click uh, yes to. And now here it wants to know where do you want to put a derived copy of this. Now the reason we're using a derived copy is this way, if Missler software updates this library, adds to the components, fixes a bug or whatever, anything that you have done will automatically follow this update. So what I'm going to do is now change to my demo screws library. I'll even make a new folder there. We'll rename it really quick to be my screws. Why not? And we'll click OK. And like that, the software has now made this demo screw library. And if I go back to that project, you can see it's now in here. And I'm going to close this library because we don't need it anymore. And now we're working within this derived library. So I'm going to go to the family next. I'm going to rename this. And I'm going to call this my standard screws or something like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look in this derived family. And in here, you just see all the codes. But notice there's a column called available. And so here what I'm going to do is teach you kind of a magic trick way of selecting what you want to use quickly. Maybe we don't use any of these 256s. Heck, maybe we don't use anything smaller than a 632. So with this first one selected, I'm going to come down here to where my 540s end. I'm going to shift select to grab all of them. And I'm going to tap my space bar. And that's going to unselect each of those items. Maybe with 632s, I only use up to one inch in size. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Shift select and then tap the space bar. Same thing with 832s. And again, this is just to show you how to quickly filter things out. Maybe I never use any 1024s at all. So I'm going to get rid of my 1024s altogether. For my quarter 20s, I only use up to two inch long. So anything under that, I'm going to get rid of. And so forth, so on. Maybe from here on out, I'll leave my 516s. I use those. I use my 38s. But anything bigger, I have no use for. So I'll select that, scroll all the way to the bottom, hold shift, deselect all of those. And it might take a sec. So now you can see there's definitely a handful of screws that are selected in here and a handful that are not. Now I'm going to save that, and I'm going to check that in. Now, on top of this, I'm also going to create a wizard filter. But before we do that, we're going to test this library to make sure it functions. So once it's done checking in, we're going to go ahead back to our little sample project, and we're going to test it. All right, so let's go back to our sample project. I'm going to close this library because we don't need it open. It's important to reference the library, so I'm going to right-click on my references, reference library here. And here, I'm going to go find 
my library called demo screws and we'll reference it. Perfect. Okay, so now that we're back, let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go to my demo screws library and I'm just going to drag and drop that family in and watch what happens. If I go into this list, notice the list isn't quite as long as it was before. It's only showing the screws that we want to use. Now, if that's good enough for you, you can stop watching this video now and you're done. But if you want to control this more, then keep watching. For example, I want to control which wizards are available because I don't always use all of these different positioning wizards. So we're going to do that next. I'm going to go back to my library. I'm going to go make a new folder in here. And that folder, I'm just going to call it wizard process filter. I'm going to right click on there, go down to document here. And now here I'm going to be on my special tab. I'm going to start with a wizard rule. Select that. Blank template's fine. Green check. Now, in order to create a wizard process filter, we have to add a function. So if I go to add, oh, wait a minute. I don't have any functions here. And the reason I don't have any functions here is because my references aren't actually correct yet in this library. So we can talk about a new function that became available in the 712 build. If you right click on your references and go to manage, it's showing you all of the real references that you actually need in order to be working here. So all you have to do is click copy real references and it will fill out the references folder correctly. Or you could browse the old fashioned way of reference library and make sure you add the correct libraries that you need to reference. Now that that's resolved, if I go back to add here, now I see all my functions. I'm going to click on there once, tap on the S key to find screw and add that function. Now I can double click on family and go find my standard screws. Again, this is this derived family that we made. And what wizard do I want to be able to use in that? Well, I want to use screw buried head. I'm going to do it again. Double click, my standard screws, because I also occasionally do this with screw on top, meaning the head of the, head of the screw is on top of the plate. And that's it. Now, I'm going to name this appropriately. I'm going to call it my standard screws wizards. That way I know what it is. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close it. I'm going to check it in. And now we're going to test it. Now, in order to use that process filter back in my project or in my project template, however you want to think of this, what I need to do is go to my favorites folder, right click and go to wizards rules. Here, I'm going to select my standard screws. And you can have as many of these wizard rules for different libraries as you want, but I only want to deal with my standard screws that we just created. Perfect. And now if I go to my demo screw library and I drag and drop that family in again, watch what happens. Notice I'm on screw buried head automatically and now this list is far less. So if I go position this screw right there, for example, that's perfect. That length is too long. Let's maybe go to here. We'll add a filter. We'll say I'm looking for minimally a quarter inch screw that's going to attach to that plate. Perfect. I found one that could fit. Now, when I green check this, it goes to the process. And now notice we have all sorts of processes. And this is where we can create a process rule as well. So I'm going to click OK there once and I'm going to undo all of that because I don't need it. And we're going to go back to our library and we're going to make a process filter in the same way. So I'm going to right click on that folder, new document. And I'm going to come up here to process rules again under the special tab, green check mark. May as well call this my standard screws process. And here again, same, same, same like with the wizard uh, filter. I'm going to go here, find my screw function, add it. And I'm going to choose what wizard I want to use. So when I'm using a specific wizard of screw buried head, and I'm using my standard screws family, the process I want to use is tap hole with clearance. When I'm using screw on top head, again, from the family, my standard screws, I want to use maybe just tap hole by itself. Okay, like that. I'm going to hit save and close. We'll check that in as well. And then we'll do the final test on this also. 
So now I go back to my family samples. Again, in my favorites, I'm going to go to my process rules now. Make sure I turn on the right process wizard that I want, or process filter. Perfect. And now let's go ahead and add that standard screw again. So I'm going to go take from my screw library here, drag and drop it in. In this case, we'll go ahead and attach it like so. We're using screw buried head. That's with the head buried. If I was to switch this to be head on top, you'll see that now the head's on top. Kind of cool. And now if I go into here, notice it doesn't even ask you for what process to apply because our filter that we created has chosen that process automatically. Hopefully you found this video to be uh, useful and it teaches you faster and more efficient ways to harness the power that is Top Solid 7.